In other news tonight, the changes now at the Cincinnati Emergency Communications Center. Uh, yeah, the police department no longer running the show at the 911 center. A policy change amid the investigation into the death of a Seven Hills student who died in his van waiting for help to arrive. WLWT News 5's Dan Griffin live for us right now with new details on who will be who will take charge. Dan. Yeah, Mike and Molly, I can tell you from the sounds of it, it sounds like this guy has a background in technology and also communications. There was a memo sent to council members and the mayor today. We've been reviewing that in the memo. The acting city manager says starting tomorrow, Jason Dunn, the director of the Department of Enterprise Technology and the city's chief technology officer will take over the day to day operations at the 911 center temporarily. He will serve as a point person and project manager as plans move forward to make big improvements. The acting city manager says Dunn is certified by the National Emergency Number Association and has been featured in several publications sharing his expertise. Councilman David Mann says this change is the right move as they try to prevent what happened leading up to the death of Kyle Plush from happening again. And obviously, I respect the decision of the city manager. This is what he's paid the big bucks for to make a personnel decisions. So uh, he told me the other day that he planned this and uh, I'm sure that Jason Dunn uh, will do a great job. He, he comes with uh, high recommendations. I've been impressed with what I've seen of him. Here's an interesting nugget, too. We've learned that Dunn actually served as director of Hamilton County's communications center before this. As part of this change, city leaders say that the police captain who was in charge will now take a new position within the police department. We are live downtown at City Hall. I'm Dan Griffin, WLWT News 5.